friends, I am Ola. Today, I will teach you the relation between multiplication and division. Before we start, let us revise the terms used in multiplication and division. Look at the example. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Here, the numbers which are multiplied are called the factors. So, in this example, the numbers 5 and 4 are the factors. The number obtained by multiplying the two factors is called the product and number 20 is the product here. Now, look at the division example. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Here, the number to be divided is called the dividend. Here, number 20 is the dividend. The number that divides another number is called the divisor. The divisor here is number 4. Finally, the answer we get on dividing the numbers is called the quotient, which is number 5 here. Now, when we are clear about the terms, studying the relation between the two operations multiplication and division will become simpler. Multiplication and division are very closely related. Let us see how. There are five boxes and each box has three pencils. In all, how many pencils are there in five boxes? To get the product, we multiply the numbers 5 and 3. 5 into 3 is equal to 15. Now, let us look at it in another way. There are 15 pencils. If each box can accommodate three pencils, then how many boxes are needed for 15 pencils? So, here we need to divide 15 by 3 to find the quotient. Therefore, 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Given that there are 5 boxes and 15 pencils, how many pencils are there in each box? Here, we divide 15 by 5 to find the quotient. So, 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. From the same example used, we got to know an interesting fact about multiplication and division, which is division is the inverse of multiplication. That is, when we divide the product with one of its factors, the quotient that we get is the other factor. Now, let us take another example. Look, there are five kids. Each kid has nine balloons. How many balloons are there in all with the five kids? So, here we multiply the numbers five and nine to get the answer. So, 5 into 9 is equal to 45. If we look at the same example in a different way, there are 45 balloons. 
If each kid has nine balloons, then find the number of kids such that the balloons are distributed equally. Here, we need to divide 45 by 9 to find the quotient. We get 45 divided by 9 is equal to 5. Now, if there are 5 kids and 45 balloons in all, how many balloons does each kid get? Here, we divide 45 by 5 to find the quotient. 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. Look, here we got both multiplication and division facts from the same example. Woohoo! Ola is great company to learn with.